Richie Sambora has been living his best life since leaving iconic rock group Bon Jovi in 2013. The guitarist was worn down after the crazy touring schedules that went on for 30 years. Richie lives in Calabasas, California, also owning a stunning mansion in Laguna Beach and a property in Hawaii where he spends his time with his family, especially his daughter, Ava. Richie keeps his homes very private, but it's reported online that his home in Laguna Beach is right on the water, situated on a bluff with stunning interiors spanning 8,700 square feet of space. Richie Sambora grew up in a working class family with a deep love for music, and in the early 1980s, Sambora joined Bon Jovi, just as the band was beginning to gain momentum. His guitar riffs and backing vocals became a huge part of the band's signature sound. And throughout the 1980s and 90s, Bon Jovi experienced major success, releasing a ton of multi-platinum albums. Richie married actress Heather Locklear in 1994 and the couple had a daughter, Ava, in 1997. While Richie and Heather are no longer together, their relationship and co-parenting is on good terms. In 2013, Richie left Bon Jovi during the rock group's world tour, but it's been said he's been thriving since then. According to a source, personal issues and stress within the band were big reasons to why he left. The same source that Simbora had been feeling demoralized for years prior to his exit, largely due to the band's relentless schedule over 30 years, which left little time for rest. Richie essentially lost his passion for staying in the band and needed to be home with his daughter and take care of himself too. Richie now lives in Calabasas with additional homes in Laguna Beach and Hawaii where he's focused on his family. Since leaving the band, his life has been unbelievable, allowing him to be present for his daughter, Ava, driving her to school and being there full time. Although Sambora and his ex-wife, Heather Locklear, divorced in 2007, he still sees her from time to time and remains close with her family. The source also said that Sambora's decision to continue touring after suffering a severe shoulder injury contributed to his opioid use. Sambora took oxycodone to manage the pain so he could continue playing 30 to 35 shows, bringing in $100 million. However, after the tour, Sambora recognized the need to stop using painkillers. After a tough withdrawal period, Sambora is now focusing on his songwriting and working on his own music, including a collab with Dolly Parton on her album, Rockstar. Richie keeps his home in Calabasas, California, extremely private, so there's not much information online aside from aerial photos. Reportedly, the sprawling property boasts over 10,000 square feet of space with seven beds and 8.5 baths. The mansion is a custom-built Mediterranean-style estate that's private and situated in a guard-gated community. Some of the highlights are said to include a ballroom-sized entryway with double oak staircases, as well as a living room and great room with three sitting areas each. Elsewhere, there's a gourmet kitchen with Sub-Zero and other designer appliances, as well as a wood-paneled games room, a home theater that's been updated, and a master suite with sitting area. Moving outside, the grounds of Richie's Calabasas home are said to be a tropical paradise and from aerial photos, we can see the stunning swimming pool with Inset Spa. If reports are correct, Richie's mansion in Laguna Beach may be even more impressive than his Calabasas home. This home is right on the water, set on a bluff in Laguna Beach, California, more specifically in the secured gates of Lagunita. The oceanfront home is built in a Mediterranean style and offers five bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and an additional office. One of the obvious highlights of the mansion is all of the glass walls that open right up and offer indoor-outdoor living spaces, as well as provide panoramic views. Spanning about 8,700 square feet across three levels, every inch of the Rockstar's estate is designed to maximize the unobstructed ocean views and fill interiors with natural lights. Brand new floor to ceiling glass doors and windows ensure you can always the surroundings. The residence is full of upscale amenities from a private movie theater and custom wine cellar to a web bar, 
and a games room. The chef's kitchen is set up with Viking appliances and a spacious island, and it seamlessly opens out to an outdoor area with a built-in barbecue and pizza oven. On the lower level of the outdoor area, the waterfall pool, jacuzzi, and custom fire pits invite you to relax in the coastal breeze and enjoy the California sunsets. For the most privacy, a private staircase leads you directly to Victoria Beach, one of Laguna's most coveted shores. Additional features of the property include a meditation room, a two-car garage, an elevator, a private gated community entrance, and more. As we can see from this video, Richie Sambora's mansions, such as his main home in Calabasas, as well as the one in Laguna Beach, are retreats for the rock star. Ones that he can actually enjoy now since leaving Bon Jovi. As a musician who spent decades in the spotlight, Richie's homes provide him with the privacy and peace that he values, allowing him to focus on what truly matters. His music, his daughter Ava, and his personal well-being. For today, that's gonna wrap up this house tour. Thank you all for watching. I'm Care the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.